Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and today we are going to do for you the 25 things that you didn't know about me. And we decided, Twin and I, say hello, <laughs> that we would do this together. So I'm going to do 13 things about me, and she's going to do 12 things about me, and I don't know exactly what those 12 things are. So that is what we have going on today. Um, and we were tagged by the beautiful Shani Banny, I believe, correct? I believe so, and I may yeah. have been tagged by a few others too, but yeah, we have it's, it's been tagged by several, yeah. Yes, that's true. Okay, so I'm going to start. And I figure, why not start off but with something that makes me look like a complete idiot? So, um, <laughs> I am a little bit gullible, okay? Um, and I always have been since, I'm much better than I used to be. But, so, I'm a little bit gullible, and the story behind that that will prove to that is that when I was younger, I was about... 16, so not really so much young. Um, we were planning a family trip to Niagara Falls, and we lived in Pennsylvania at the time, so it was a day trip. And I was really annoyed that we weren't leaving early enough because I wanted to get home at a certain time. And finally, my dad had had enough of fighting with me, and he said, Kristen, they don't even turn the falls on until 10 o'clock. And I said, fine! And I slammed my door, and that was that. And I didn't even realize till we got to Niagara Falls at about quarter to 10. And I said, Dad, the falls are on! that I was a complete <laughs> idiot. Hey, easy out of the painted gallery over there. So that is the first thing that uh, you don't know about me. What do you have, Twin? Uh, first thing, um, out of the 12, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the best first thing. First thing is that Kristen never wears socks inside the house. <laughs> never. Because the creeps are out when her feet touch the carpet. Yeah, it's and, true. It's not very efficient. What, what do you mean it's not efficient? <laughs> it's not efficient. Your feet move around, and and you don't you don't you don't, you can't get there from place point A to point B as quickly as you can with shoes on, like flip flops, or without socks at all. How long is your carpet? Your toes get cut. <laughs> <laughs> or it's, how long are your toenails? I mean, what? what? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the way it is. I'm just saying, you guys heard it. She said it's not as efficient. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, I, I would like somebody to. I guess get a radar gun and clock her with socks on or without <laughs> socks on. I don't even know what just happened there. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So the second thing that you don't know about me, I'm going to turn this a little bit. The second thing that you don't know about me is that when I was in um, high school, I never skipped a single class. I was a total square wow. and never skipped a single class. So. Wow. Right. Uh, I did not know that about I did not know that about you. And uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, next thing you don't know about Kristen is um, she hates pets. <laughs> that she is not true. Dogs. I do not what? hate dogs. I am allergic to dogs, and I'm allergic to pets. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, I can't even hear that anymore. You know what? She's not allergic to dogs. What's your excuse for not getting a dog? I am. <laughs> I am. It's true. I'm allergic. Have you heard of I don't know Allegra or Zyrtec? Why, why, I don't want to take a pill every single day. Oh, okay. Well, they say that people who don't love pets are not compassionate, so I don't know. I didn't say that. Really? I just picked it up. Oh, I boy. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll remember this when it's your turn. <laughs> okay, um, the, the third thing that you don't know about me is that when I was 10 years old, I beat out 66 other little girls in Fond du Lac to sing with the Oshkosh Symphony, and I was Annie. Wow. Right? Did I that? No, you didn't know that either? I'm trying to be obscure here. I loved Annie. It was like my favorite thing when I was a kid. I, I have a scrapbook. You know what? I'll insert a picture right here. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Next thing you don't know about Kristen is... She has the most amazing big hair trick. And it is not anything you have ever seen. Okay, okay. If you have seen it, it is beyond obscure. Because, like, it's not like teasing or putting a bun and then putting it over. I've never heard of it, never seen it until she did it. So, um, I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I'm trying to pressure her into making a video about it. And it'll be a really short video because it's so quick. It would be But when short. you see it and she shows you, you're going to be like, oh my God, what did I think of that? They named, they named it the Game Changer. 
Yes, the game Instead. changer. And seriously, it has been life changing. <laughs> it has been. That sounds dramatic, but it's been life changing. <laughs> it was life changing when I figured it out too. Um, okay, so the fourth thing you don't know about me, and that kind of follows up the third thing, is that, from my perspective, of course, not her numbers, my numbers, is that um, in college, I was um, a music minor, and I uh, minored in um, voice, and I also play saxophone and piano, and flute. That I did know. Yeah, that she did know. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next thing about Kristen. And I don't know if it's been diagnosed yet or not, and I am absolutely not making fun of anyone, but Kristen is more OCD than anyone I've ever met in my life. It's uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. She is the ultimate, like, she will literally have heart palpitations <laughs> if certain things aren't a certain way. Like, we will be Skyping. Kristen and I Skype a lot, okay? If not every day, every other day, probably. Would you say that's fair, Kristen? Yes, I would say that's fair. I mean, it's, you know. So I'll be in the kitchen cooking or doing whatever, and the camera is facing, uh, it's on top above my sink, not, you know, on the sink, but above there, and so it's facing out at my cabinets, and if my cabinet doors are open, she's like, oh, are you going to get that? <laughs> I'd be like, it drives me crazy. Oh, out. If, that, if the cabinet door is open, not, where's her out? All right. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Okay, so the, my fifth thing that you don't know about me is that I prefer boxed mashed potatoes to real mashed potatoes. Ew. <laughs> I, that's what I grew up with. My husband grew up on a farm, so he really prefers the real mashed potatoes. So on a rare occasion, I will make those. But I prefer them out of a box because they're nice and smooth. And sometimes they have flavors. Well, you can add, like, garlic and stuff and... You grew up yeah. drinking formula or breast milk, you know, but eventually you transitioned, right? <laughs> yes, eventually. I'm just saying, please transition. <laughs> See, I... Oh, okay. moving on. Fine. Um, uh, the next thing, because I'm not keeping count, but obviously Kristen is, um, uh, is that Kristen, and she, I know she's mentioned it on this channel, she can sing. Like, she can really, actually, really sing. Not like, hey, I'm in my car and I'm singing, but no, she sings and she does it very well. And um, she sang recently, I want to say, it was, was it a game on the 4th of July? What was it that you were on the radio? Oh, for a, the Harlem Ambassador fundraiser yes. game. Yes. yes. She was actually <laughs> on the radio in her little Wisconsin town. And she, used to, she also has done weddings as well. Yep. That is true. She sure has. <laughs> that wasn't one of yours, was it? No, it's not one of mine. <laughs> Um, okay, so the next thing you don't know about me, and I've, I talk about my family a lot, but I have three siblings. I have an older sister, and then I have two brothers that are younger than me, one that is six years younger than me, and one that is eight years younger than me. And my sister lives out in Pennsylvania, and my, um, the brother that's six years younger than me lives about an hour from me, and my youngest brother lives in Denver, which is very, very far away. And they all have children, and I do not. That I knew <laughs> about your about your other siblings. I mean, all right. Um, so, so I will say we'll go, we'll be a little mushy for a second. Oh boy, Wait, mushy. It doesn't have to all be, you know, <laughs> trivial. Um, I will say this: uh, Kristen is the most <laughs> perfect person I have ever seen in my entire life. She volunteers and volunteers some more, and she will literally use up every moment of her day doing stuff like normally for other people uh, instead of taking care of you know whatever she may need or want to do personally <laughs> and I, Kristen I can't I know I know you just said the Harlem what is it Harlem ambassadors thank you Harlem ambassadors and there where else do you volunteer well that that was actually for the optimist club <clears throat> and um, I do junior achievement uh -huh. and church and youth board that's right. it that's it that's it and, that's and, all. You know, Sorry, guys, that I couldn't keep all that straight for me personally, but, yeah, that's it. She does all of that. All of that on top of going to work, cooking, cleaning, and, and, and everything else. So I just think it's actually amazing, and she's just very giving of her time. So. Aw, twin. Oh, boy. So much mushiness. <clears throat> um, let's see. The next thing that you don't know about me, and actually I have mentioned this long before, but I'm just going to say it again. 
one of my biggest pet peeves, aside from people spelling my name incorrectly, is the misuse of adjectives and adverbs. It drives me absolutely bananas. True? Uh, yeah. I've witnessed it uh, in play. It doesn't work bad. It works badly. I mean, it drives... Or the good versus well. I mean, ah! Drives me crazy. So there you go. There's a little Kristen quirk. What really frightens me about that, though, Kristen, and I'm, I'm just adjusting here. Uh, what really frightens me about that is I feel like I make those mistakes a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Bring that to my attention. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness right. gracious. Next thing is, is Kristen, and I'm going to roll my eyes because she's clearly a woman, and I know it doesn't matter, but. She's the most diehard Green Bay Packer fan I've ever met. And I know she mentions Green Bay, but no. I, the reason I mention this is because I think you hear her get on camera and go, oh, I love Green Bay, and Green Bay's awesome, and I'm just a diehard fan. And so you're probably like, okay, yeah, she really likes Green Bay. No, 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 no. I have been I Oh, wait, hold on. Or if I'm trying to tell her, if I'm trying to tell her a story, she should listen because she's good like that. But if Green Bay either does something amazing, amazingly, I don't know. Or, Amazingly. Uh, or something, they do something poorly, she will immediately stop. I mean, it, it just, there's no, there's no hold on. It's just like, ah! I heard cuss, scream, and yell at the television, and I've heard her cheer, like they're little cheerleaders. It is, it is, she knows more about that sport than most men do. I guarantee <laughs> it. I guarantee it. I love football, so, and yeah. I love my Packers. That is true. That's very true. Um, okie dokie, then. I turned 40 in February. Week. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> That's one of your things, fine. Nobody know. I don't think anybody knew how old I was. So it's new. Well, you don't look 40, so yeah. Oh, twin bias. Um, oh, of course. Twin truths. Anyway, um, Kristen never sleeps in. <laughs> I do too, till like 6.30. Never. You're a liar. <laughs> Take your definition of sleeping in then. Fine, fair enough. Give them your definition of sleeping in. What time? Like 6.30. Did you hear that? <laughs> 6.30. Central time in the USA. Okay? <laughs> she doesn't do it. And that's probably because she's volunteering all the time. Which is, a, again, she's way better of a person than I will ever be. So not but true. But never. The woman doesn't sleep. She is bionic. I really think she is. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Um, here's something random. When I'm in the car listening to music, my music is cranked. And I have a theory about that. Are you ready for my theory? I, 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 I would love to hear it. Okay. My theory is this. I wasn't able to have children, which is another random fact, but we'll just count it as part of this. And so I think that people, when you're younger, you have loud music in the car. Did you have loud music in your car when you were 16? Yeah. Right. So you have loud music in your car, and then when you grow up and you have kids, because of their precious little ears, you have to turn it down. Well, I never had kids, so I never had to turn my music down, and thus, I still listen to it loudly. So it's my I story. I, I think I indirectly just got called a bad mom. <laughs> <laughs> so not true. <laughs> because, no, I know, because um, I still crank that stuff up way high with a little nugget in the car. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah. I never really think about that, but who hears me fine? It's okay. And if not, there's miracle ears, isn't there? That's Show that. Show that. <laughs> totally. Alright, next thing. Um, Kristen will bake an entire batch of cookies, or brownies, just to eat the batter. Just to eat about half of the batter in the mix. I can't eat and half anymore, though. I'm not saying that in a judgmental way. We found out that we both, <laughs> we both do that. And it's a very loving common bond that we have it's true um but yeah total batter eater mm -hmm. and i can't do it as much as i used to because it makes me really sick now since my surgery <laughs> but you um have a teeny, tiny stomach. i do have a teeny tiny stomach and back in the day um when i was in college i totally remember making cakes and the cake would end up being like this thick because i ate half of the batter oh my god my brownies are like the flattest smallest brownies ever yeah yeah that's what happens it is what it is mm -hmm. um let's see I started working, this random number, what am I on, eight here? No, nine. I started working, um, well, technically, I guess when I was 13, I volunteered at a nursing home until I was old enough to have a 
job where I could go out and get paid for a job. And I started working at McDonald's when I was 16, and I have held the job ever since, and for the majority of that, I held two jobs, because one just wasn't enough. <laughs> so until I got married, I pretty much held two jobs. And that's about par for the course for her. <laughs> Um, and I only, I only say it like that is because, I don't know, I, I swear, she'll be like, what are you doing today? Uh, no, I'll ask her, what are you doing? She'll be like, oh, you know, I'm going to go feed the homeless and hug some orphans, and then I'm going to, like, I don't know, I'll go to work, and then grab my lunch break at work, I'm going to go do some volunteer work at the animal shelter, and, like, so she gets this big whole day planned of volunteering and stuff, and I, obviously I'm exaggerating, and then she'll be like, what are you going to do? And I'll be like... I don't know, I think I'm going to try and unload the dick truck. <laughs> and uh, it's probably going to be it. And so where this comes from is I, I just feel very unproductive when I... Okay, so we had a little a memory card malfunction there, so we're back now. <laughs> okay, it's your turn, I think. Um, Kristen, and, and this maybe sh this should have been wrapped up in one of the other ones, but I felt like it needed its own little little moment uh she is a perfectionist <laughs> in the worst way i've ever seen and the perfect example was we, so we were talking this morning on skype and she's making this ridiculously huge meal she's making lasagna and meat sauce and yada 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 but it's her husband's birthday coming up so i get that but uh what she does is she pulls a lasagna noodle out to show me that is extra she goes yeah i need, I need an extra lasagna noodle because i don't like using the broken ones <laughs> Really? Well, really? Because it's going to cook differently? Because it's going to make a difference? Really, Kristen? So I just, I, but, it, but at the same time, it's, it's actually, it's really cute. It's cute to watch her little, you know, little isms there. But I was like, oh, oh my goodness. There are, yeah, no there are, fun news for Kristen. there are a few isms, that's for sure. Um, okay, another thing that, I think this is number 11 for me. I am very patriotic. I, uh, my father was in the Navy and I'm very proud of that. I make it a point to thank people that I can tell have been in service, whether they're wearing a hat or something like that. And, um, I get almost, almost, um, teary eyed when I'm proud of our country during the Olympics, that sort of thing. So I am very patriotic. Um, next thing, and I know I mentioned that she eats cake batter and stuff, but Kristen cooks. She bakes, she cans, and I mean, she, she does the whole gamut of the food thing, and, and not just like simple things, like she does these, again, she does elaborate meals, elaborate baking, and she'll spend an entire weekend canning things like pickles and uh, tomatoes, and what else did you can this year? Peaches and pears. Peaches and pears, <laughs> I mean, there's a couple weekends, she's like, yeah, we're canning, we're eating about 5.30 to can, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's what I want to do in my day off. It's awesome. But yeah, well, no, she, uh, yeah, it's she does it all. It's totally worth it. The can. I believe you. <laughs> I do. All right. Um, number 12 for me. Um, and this is, a, it's, I guess it's a random fact. One of the best April Fool's Day jokes that was ever pulled on me. I was really angry at the time, but... Um, and, and I'll kind of tie this into the random fact is that I always have to match. Always. Like, even when I go to bed, I have to match. Like, my jam... Oh my God. I, I always have to match. Everything. Top, bottom, under things, everything has to match. So, this year for that particular year, I was in college, and my roommate and one of my best friends, they took one of each of my shoes away from my room. One of each shoe. So I did not have a matching set of shoes to wear. They, they didn't take like all the lefts and all the rights. They just took one of each pair. So I had to pick two tennis shoes that were close-ish to wear that day. That's awesome. It was, I was angry. <laughs> I, I can imagine. So there you go. Imagine. So lastly, and I will not go into a full explanation of it. Uh, if you'd like the full explanation, you can watch the other 25 things video. And uh, Kristen showers in the morning. Like That's normal it. people. No. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I'm sorry. So I'm That's it. She showers in the morning. I guess we're going to leave it at there because there will be more discussion on Melissa's channel. 
Um, okay, the last thing I think that I have to share with you guys is, um, and really not, it's really kind of boring, but I love sweets. Love, love, love. I could probably spend my entire day eating things that are sweet if my little stomach would let me. But that is the reason I have the little stomach. Because <laughs> I have a huge sweet tooth. Um, I like to think that it just made me sweet. <laughs> Oh, that's my story. <laughs> Aw, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So those are the 25 random things you didn't know about me. Half for me, and half for my twin. Um, and you need to go check out the video on her channel, and I will link her channel below, and see what I came up with for the 12 random things about her. <laughs> oh it should be good. Oh joy. Oh joy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great week, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye.